All right, we'll wait others to show up. Assembly of Right Golden Sparrow. Yes, and I'm sure all of you are ready with your presentations, with your speeches, excellently made over the week's time. And uh, we'll start, we'll start off with the, uh, you suggest how should we go about? Ma'am, have you made in chits? Chits, I did not make chits because I thought why, why chits all the time? You know, let's go with something different. How about we go alphabetically? Is that okay with you? Yeah, that one. Yes? Ma, yeah. I forgot to make a PPT. But I know what I'm going to speak. I wrote in my okay. notes. That's fine, that's fine. It's okay. Completely. Alright. So we go alphabetically. And uh, I have the list of students. Just a minute. Okay, thank you for waiting patiently. Just add a few things at home. All right, now we will officially start. So I have the list of students with me and we are gonna go alphabetically, okay? And you shall be representing. Now certain things before we start children, ground rules. Now because we are in a formal setup, let us respect the speaker, number one. Okay, let us respect the speaker and not annotate i'm going to disable the annotation anyway okay i'm also going to disable the chat just in case you feel like chatting with your friend <laughs> the other country you know <laughs> You're like okay we are friends as a country so let's chat let them speak whatever they want no, no 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 we are not going to do that we'll respect listen because we have to vote towards the end right okay until unless we listen to the problem and the solution how will we cast our vote okay so we are going to do that and uh, let's go. So should I start with Aisha Aga? Because we have Aisha Aga right with us. Go ahead, Aisha. My name is Aisha Aga. I'm representing- Okay, one minute. We have a request, Aisha. We have a request. Uh, how about you rename yourselves as your respective countries? Yes, go ahead quickly. Okay, ma'am. Countries or the UN ambassadors. Yes, so Abdullah, what you do, let the UN ambassador's name be, put a hyphen and write the name of your country. You do that, Abdullah. Ma'am, what do we have to do? You have to rename yourself as your country. I'm like that. 
Oh yes, that's perfect. We have Canada, we have France, Brazil. Yes, now it's looking like a UN assembly. And you are from which country? Who? You are from you. which country? I, I, I'll write myself as uh, General yeah. Secretary. Okay. The security. UN yeah. General Secretary. <laughs> Sam has two slides. Three slides. No, no, no. Slides. Two problems and one thank you. And one United States and more starting. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, I made three slides as you told. Ma'am, one problem I have. Ma'am, I made five. You That's okay. That's okay. It is okay. I don't want it to be perfect, you know, children. This is our first time. Let us enjoy the session. Title slide, just two title and ending slide. That's fine. That's fine. It's perfectly okay. All right. Um, how about we start? We don't have much participants here. I don't know. Few students haven't logged in yet. Ma'am, Humaira, Asim, and uh, Blazing Usman, and Batul. Only and... two of them are left. I think Batul, Batul is missing as well. Hamza also. Hamza also. Hamza, Hamdan. That's four, right. Four, yeah, five, five. A lot of people five, missing. One. All right, no problem. They'll join him. All right. Okay, Canada. My name is Aisha Aga. I am representing Canada. Uh, uh, Canada is spoiled because of climate. The climate change happening there. There is an animal in living in Canada called moose. Moose are used to cold, but when climate change comes, it becomes too hot, and uh, there these uh, parasites in the air. Uh, those parasites stick to the moose's body because moose is used to cold. They when they when the parasites stick to the moose's body, uh, the moose gets very sick and it dies. The parasite kills the moose. So, uh, yeah, with uh, with climate change, uh, a lot of things are happening. Uh, climate change comes because of pollution, uh, too much pollution. But to but but the problem to solve it, we should save water, use non-pollution vehicles, and plant as many trees as possible. Climate change destroys the habitat of the animals or wild feet, wildfire. Wildlife in Canada. I'm done. Okay. So, uh, clearly the problem with Canada is climate change. All right. And we are facing that problem globally, say. But that one species, the moose, okay, which is uh, which Canada is famous for, or which we, uh, like, you know, if you say moose, you think of Canada, right? So that species of animal is uh, endangered because as soon as the, uh, cli the climate rises, it becomes high, the temperature rises, it leads to a lot of parasites coming in. All right. And the Ma parasites, yes, yes, Canada. I, I saw a video, I have a video on uh, how to solve the problem. Go ahead, show it to us. Go ahead.
Okay, that was lovely. That was lovely. So it wholesomely spoke on the climate change that we are facing as a world or as people of today's world. Okay, so what do you think? Other countries, Canada is asking for help, saying that we need to, we have to focus on climate change because there is no other way and it's just causing problems. What do you think? Uh, we yourself. have to save the moon. Oh yes, we have to save the moon. I also saw a picture of how when the parasites sit on it, how we it become. Show it to us. Show it to us. We would like to see. Yes. This is a picture of the moose when it's died. Such a big horn. Did it kill someone with those horns? It looks majestic. See, ma'am, this is the real moose, and the moose, when it will uh, get the parasites on, it will get very thin. Show us, show, show us the one with the parasites. In the water. Yeah. The moose has got very thin. The regular moose was very fat and nice in shape and when the parasite sat on it, it the body became very thin. Okay, so 47,000 ticks, ticks are nothing but animals, parasites, right? 47,000. So and it's all to be blamed, climate change is Okay. All right. Okay, so yes, other countries, what, what's the solution? Canada, what, what are you proposing to the UN? We've clearly understood the problem, climate change, moves endangered. Canada, what are the proposed solution you have? We need to treat the most. Okay, one minute. Russia will let Canada speak. First, we let Canada unmute themselves. Canada, unmute yourself, please. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. What are the proposed solution you have for this? For and how can we as world nation co uh, contribute? To prevent this, no? You should save water, use non-pollution vehicles, and plant as many trees as possible. Do we collectively agree on the solutions provided by Canada? Yes. Canada, I have a question. Yes. How do you plan on planting as many trees as possible? Uh, in Canada, there are many people. So just put posters around every, or put it in the paper because everybody reads paper that uh, to save the environment, you should plant trees. 
Perfect. Canada, Canada says we can campaign around the country requesting people to plant as many trees as possible. Okay. Uh, how about reduce pollution? How about reduce pollution? Anybody else? Um, could I say? Yes. Okay, Brazil, go ahead. Ma'am, uh, uh, if you want to go to the school or somewhere, so put posters that please use cycles or go by walking or carpool. If people like in school, there are buses, so they can, if there are no bus, uh, they can take a bus and go every student. They could, they could not use locals and just buses because everyone can go in the buses. But locals will take the rickshaws and the bikes and the cars, so it will be a lot of pollution. We don't have rickshaws in Canada, but okay, I yeah. accept that. Ma'am, no uh, can I say? Uh, uh, when people uh, sometimes um, go to uh, buy a car from the showroom, so uh, the showroom managers and um, they can inform the people that not to use uh, uh, the vehicles so much. Okay, so uh, Fran says that when you're going to buy a new car, the showroom managers should be conscious, environmentally conscious. So much so that they suggest or advise the buyer to not use the vehicle as much as possible. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yes. um, and so we have like the cars, we have uh, like uh, electric cars, so we can use that. Uh, so there's like Teslas. If people want some nice cars, so there is Tesla. There are many models of Tesla. It's really okay. expensive. Okay, US says it's very expensive. Yeah. Tesla is expensive. Yeah, ma'am, but the one who takes the BMW and everything, so uh, so they afford that and they want a nice car, so they can take that. Okay, a very intelligent answer given by Turkey. All right. Uh, yes, Canada. So the problem, the solution proposed by Canada. How many of you all agree? Am I agree? Is it practically possible? Will it be? Will it help uh, save the endangered species, the moose? If you agree, hand up, and if you disagree, hand down. Ma'am, can I show you one more photo? Ma'am, ma'am. Yes. Is it related to this? Uh, that is related to moose. Okay, it's related to moose. Let's have a quick look at the last picture shown by Canada, and then we cast our vote. All right. Uh, the, the parasites are uh, stuck on its body. All right. So moose are clearly one of the nine. Uh, out of the nine moose is clearly one of the animals that is being severely affected due to climate change. Okay. Excellent. Ma'am, and there was one more video I wanted to show. Just one minute. Yeah.
Lots of curiosity. Super parents. Super teacher. I think you should. All right, so you see how it is linked and interconnected. The climate changes of one particular thing, the species try to move out to another in order to survive. And it is said the animals or the species with greater survival or adjustable skills are at a high risk of surviving. But what about the ones that are not able to adjust to the new change and the climate? Okay, they definitely become endangered. All right. So we will start with casting our vote. Canada's problem, climate change, solution provided, plant more trees, okay, increase the forest area, you can say in other words, and decrease the pollutants. How many say I? You want to raise your hand in order for me to see. I, 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 I. Okay, a Russia has a little Russia with it itself. Okay, so one, two, nine. All right, we have nine votes. Thumbs so somebody one, is giving a thumb. Thumbs up ten. Okay. Ah, uh, thumbs up can also do. Yes, thumbs up will do as well. Okay. Mom, eleven. Eleven. Okay, Canada, I think we'll have no, to... No, ma'am, Mohammed Saqib already did it before. You counted okay. the thumbs up. We'll have, to, we'll have to work upon it. It's a good solution. All right. Moving on to the next one. France. Ma'am, um, I'm sharing my screen. Ma'am, who is France? Aisha Kazi. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aisha Kazi. And today I'm going to tell you some information about France. France is a country in Europe. France is famous for cars like Renault. It is also famous for Tour de France and the Eiffel. Symbols such as the Eiffel Tower, the Latin Quarter, and the Georges Pompidou Center make Paris one of the most visited places in the world. Environmental issues in France. According to the source, climate change like global warming and air pollution. Due to global warming, plants and animals and even humans there are facing problems. On the other hand, due to air pollution, that is carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, people are getting sick. There's a lot of soil erosion in France. So I have a strategy to these environmental issues. How can people save uh, France, save trees and plants there? People there should stop driving vehicles that use petrol and diesel that causes carbon monoxide. People should stop the fast rivers from flowing. They can build river banks or very small walls in the rivers to prevent soil erosion. How can people there protect themselves from facing problems? Carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide go into the atmosphere of the earth and it gets thinner. This is the cause of global warming. Thank you. Hope you enjoy my presentation. Short and sweet. Very nice. Okay. All right. So we have... Uh... People applauding for you. 
so I'll go ahead and do it myself as well. And we had definitely Brazil was the first one to say short and sweet and very nice. Okay, so definitely Brazil enjoyed the presentation. Yes, indeed, it was a good one. So you see children in France as beautiful as it is the Eiffel Tower, one of the wonders of the world, and we would want to visit that someday. But it does have its own problems, and that is global warming and air pollution. All right. The solutions. Can you repeat the solution? How severe is the problem, France? How severe is this problem? The entire world, entire globe is facing the problem of global warming, climate change. But how severe is it in France? Um, it is severe like um, the animals are dying and uh, people are getting sick. Okay, so people are dying due to global warming. Uh, sorry, animals are dying due to global warming and there are a lot of people uh, falling sick to major diseases. All right. And what are the proposed solutions, France? Ma'am, what did you say? I asked what are the proposed solutions? Could you revise the solutions first so then we can cast our vote, understand the solution and cast our votes? Yeah, so um, people uh, can save plants and animals and trees uh, by not uh, driving vehicles so much uh, that causes uh, carbon monoxide. And um, people should uh, uh, like... Um, Stop okay, I, I would fast. just like to stop you there. France, uh, apart from vehicles, what do you think uh, other uh, household equipments that produce carbon, CFC, chlorofluorocarbon? Uh, or not just France, um, like, any, anybody else could answer. A any country in the world can answer this question. Some but, houses have uh, chimneys that uh, produce smoke. Okay. The question is, household appliances that produce chlorofluorocarbon, that release CFC. Yes, Toki, go ahead. AC, ma'am. AC is perfect. Air conditioners, yes. And other. So AC is one of the appli house, uh, appliance, home appliances that produces CFC. And the and other home appliance... And yes. ma'am, it is the coolant in the car also. Yes, it's a coolant in the car. Ethiopia, go ahead. I have a question for France. All right, we'll take the questions later. That's perfect. Okay, we can have a question round as well. Okay, Ethiopia. Ma'am, uh, um, um, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Malab data. Uh, because the, ma'am, the data, uh, data, um, uh, data sonic wave, Kills birds and all. The bees. Mom. It kills bees. Yes. Mom, yes, the waves. It kills bees. All right. And Mom, bees are important. It's it, it is said Mom, that the if the bees goes extinct, human life will collapse within four weeks. Mom, so you can see life. Yes, Canada. Go ahead and ask a question. Ma'am, it's four years. Mom, since when? Uh, since four years. Long okay, long long. okay. Thank you so much. Since since which year is France? Suffering. Sorry, what's your question, Canada? Since which year is France suffering? Since 2018. That's your answer. Since 2018, uh, they are facing severe global warming. All right. Uh, how about we move on to the next one? Batul, do we have Batul? Batul, uh, she is Malaysia. Do we see Malaysia? Did Malaysia attend the UN Assembly? No, ma'am, she is not here. No, Malaysia hasn't attended the UN Assembly no. yet. Okay. Um, okay. Humaira Qasim. Okay, we don't have Humaira Qasim as well. We will move on to Great Britain. All right, go ahead, Great Britain. The floor is yours. Yes.
Ma'am, first year doing of girls and then boys. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, so, hello, I am Jaya Vaid and I am representing Great Britain. Uh, Great Britain is a really... You can't hear your jewelry or your loud Mama, second. Can you speak a little loudly? I can't hear you. Oh. Hello, I'm Drea and I'm representing Great Britain. Great Britain had many foxes and it's a very cold country. Um, yes, so people started hunting foxes for fox hat, fur, coat, shoes, and jewelry. Can uh, you do the screen? Great break? Britain, I think you'll have to check your audio. Okay, ma'am. Yes, uh, it's not very audible. Your voice is breaking. So how about you? Yes, unshare. Mute, unmute yourself and then... And you can do the slideshow also. Yes. <laughs> we would like to view it in full screen. Upon my yes, Ma'am, can you help me now? Are you using two gadgets for the... When you use two gadgets, you are... No, I can hear clearly, ma'am. It's clear to me. Yes, ma'am, it is clear. To can me. you speak again? I'll, I'll just... Yes, let me yeah, know. Actually, someone is speaking in between, so it's happening. Okay, let Otherwise, us all mute ourselves and let only Great Britain speak, alright? Great Britain, start again, start again, start over from the beginning. You are muted, Great Britain. Uh, hello, I'm Jaya White and my, I'm representing Great Britain. Great Britain once had many foxes and it's a very cold country. So people started hunting fox for fox hats, purse, coats, shoes, and shovels. Um, and a uh, fox started getting extinct. Ma'am, her voice is uh, coming at a uh, So the solution is make fox, the, uh, make fox the national animal and not the lion, and we can do complete ban on fox hunting. Thank you. Ma'am, I want to uh, ask uh, means I want to tell something. Yes, Ethiopia, go ahead. Ma'am, if the um, um, if she uh, if she makes um, the fox the national animal and not the lion, so lion will be hunted. Um, but the fox. Ma'am, but lion, lion can also yeah. give fur. It also has fur on his. It's male. Male. It has a male. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, Great Britain. What do you think? Uh, Ethiopia uh, says um, that if the fox becomes the natural animal, then lion would be at a danger or at risk. Um, to... So we can do complete ban on fo uh, lion hunting and fox hunting. Perfect. We can put complete so will, ban uh, on so, the poaching. Then so, the, uh, so they will go on other animals also. It's banned on hunting animals. Banned on hunting completely, be it any animal, okay? Ethiopia. Don't it's worry, just, we are not going to harm just animals. Support. Yes, Turkey has something to say. Yeah, you could not ban the chickens and the meat, okay? Oh. Ha, oh. <laughs> Turkey, okay, Turkey. Uh, How will Turkey make all the kebabs and the shawarmas? If you put Only, the pan uh, on the chicken and the meat. You know, Eid is coming not near. For so not for not fun. Not for fun. Not for fun. Not, not for, for fun. fun. Yes, as a ho hobby. Okay, okay. Great Britain has a solution. Putting a ban on hunting animals. Yeah. 
as hobby or for fun or as for collection purposes Mama, okay. I have a question. How about all of us mute ourselves and I have few questions for Great Britain. Ma'am, Canada Mama, will listen to you. Canada will listen to you. I want you to mute yourself first. Okay, Great Britain. Quickly, if I have to tell you to sum up or just give me a uh, your problem in one sentence, how would you frame it? Um. So we uh, will do complete ban on all the animals and not for fun and we can make the fox a national animal. Okay, so putting a ban on hunting of all the animals and making fox the national animal. Why? Why the fox? Because, uh, because fox is getting extinct. All and right. So, uh, so they'll start respecting fox more. And they okay, will they'll start uh, respecting fox more. That's a very beautiful way of putting it up. Can I say something? Um, but, the um, fox but Canada, we, already. Let, we let Canada speak first because Canada has been wanting to speak since a long time. Then we'll move on to Brazil. Okay. Yes, Canada. Go ahead. Um, but uh, hunters will still hunt for the foxes because uh, they don't like to do anything except for hunting. And uh, they are not allowed to hunt for the lions. Uh, when she will first make the foxes, uh, when first she will make the foxes the king, the king, then then nothing will happen because every because the hunters will not believe it and they will still kill. Okay, so, so I see what you are trying to point. focus on. Okay, the Canada is basically trying to say that hunters will be hunters. All right, even if you put a ban. They will still want to hunt, not legally, illegally. They'll find ways to hunt. How are you going to stop that? Uh, we uh, we are going to put them in the jail. Whoever doesn't listen to the prime minister or the president, we'll put them into a jail. And after they uh, they completely take a oath, then we we'll let them go. But once they come out, they will start doing the same thing again. So then. Um, after a lot of time, we told them we are going to uh, talk to the family and everything. And then uh, we, uh, they have to give money. Or if they still don't uh, listen, we are going to execute them. All right, Kanda. Are you satisfied with the answer? Ma'am. Ma'am, we can give the hashtag. Oh, Canada couldn't hear that. Wait, Britain, why don't you? I have a uh, question. Why don't you uh, kill them first? Because uh, because we should give chance to others to uh, to prove themselves. Ma'am, I had a nice point. Like, Can I say it? Um, the only reason why people kill foxes is because they give, they sell it uh, to the other countries and the other countries eat them. No, this. No, is, for the for fun. The fun. That she stole the shawl and the shoes, not for eating. Okay. Yeah. How about we just hold? How about we just hold on to this assembly, UN assembly, and give me a minute because I need to shift my location. There's a lot of disturbance in my background. Okay. Just. Um, I have a question, Joya. Yeah. Um. Why? Uh, I'm told uh, to pause. Ma'am told to pause. Well, whatever. You cannot execute. You take the guns from the. You can give. You cannot give guns to people. It's not legal. Then you have a license. Um. And you can give it to the police. Under ten jobs. They have no solution hunters for hunters will already have the guns because they are hunters from before. Okay, if they you have can give hunters different jobs. You area will take that. But, um, but if the hunters but the hunters if they still do it so or if they still do it, so they have to be arrested. then you then you should give but, them a lifetime okay. sentence in the jail or something. Uh, no, Great Britain is correct. Uh, they, uh, the hunters can be uh, moved out to another country like that. 
but they took so many lives of the, uh, poor creatures. Animals. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, give them life points. Right. Just because I was gone, don't think that I did not hear your uh, discussions. And it was lovely how all of y'all are pouring in your inputs. Go ahead. I would want you to should. You should treat the animals same as you treat your friends. Because they help you in so many things. Exactly. And those hunters, you should give them a lifetime sentence in jail. But they, okay. so they can never get Have because mercy, Hamdan. Have you mercy. Italy, Italy, go ahead. Instead of putting it in chat, Italy, go ahead and speak. You have an excellent point. Ma'am, somebody... Come in the last you will give a question. Thanks. Okay. Everybody but can I say something? Italy has something to say. We listen you to told me. Pradeek, we listen to Italy. Great Britain should turning take. into a real. This is turning into a real UN assembly now. Ma'am, when we will start the next one. Ma'am, Juvaria should take all the girls from the hunters and give them new jobs. No, if somebody keeps on uh, hunting foxes, you can talk to their family and see why they are doing it. Perfect. Italy says, yeah. let us go deep and understand as to why that individual is yeah, involved in hunting in the yeah, first place. Family are also hunters. Alright, the family is also hunters. Family uh, video is getting... see the parents would be... They won't hunt. What if they then tell lie? What if they tell lie? What if they lie? <laughs> Then we can get a psychologist to examine them. Okay, we are moving on from hunting to lie detectors. Ma'am, ma ma what if, if we come to ask them and they remove their guns? What if in mid-session they start hunting you? Turkey is being very imaginative and creative right now. Um, <laughs> um, I can't see you. Everyone um, is cunning. Ma'am. <laughs> Witty rights. Everybody. Okay. Um, yes, Great Britain. We take a they, final they, call they, from you. We take a final call from you and then we cast our vote. Come on. They should be executed because they took so many lives uh, of uh, the poor creatures and the other creatures are getting extinct. After they get extinct, they'll go to another. They'll go to another animals, and they'll uh, they'll uh, finish the whole animals in the country. So that's why they should be executed first. Okay, perfect. The final call from Britain. Um, uh, the Britain says that the hunters execution that will be their final punishment. Okay. Now, but but that will be like a people will go like uh what type of president or like what type of ambassador is it? She shows no mercy. Them. But we gave them so many chances. They did okay. not even after yeah. ma'am can I say even after yes. they uh, came uh, out of the jail they didn't stop their things and they were just hunting. They didn't listen to the ambassadors and the rules and they All didn't right. Let us not deviate from the problem and the solution. Problem foxes getting extinct due to poaching. Okay. Solution make foxes the national animal of Great Britain. How many say I? Ma'am, can I say something? Yeah. Russia. Yes. Final word from you, Russia. Ma'am, we, uh, we can give hunters different jobs, but still they will do. Yes. The hunters who are willing to change, Great Britain. This yes, is a great, uh, great advice from Russia. All right. Is the ma'am and um, they're willing to change themselves, so then it's okay. They'll be definitely. We need if, to come up with employment ideas, okay? Because if hunters won't be hunters, then what will they be? If, France. If the hunters keep continuing, so um, uh, they can also be removed from the country. Exiled yeah, but they, from the country. This is no longer a monarch, Great Britain. Okay, but, this has become a democratic uh, one. Yeah, but yeah. they'll do it in other countries. Then they'll do it in the other. They'll do it in the other so countries. France, 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 if Great they, Britain they, sends all their Great Britain sent to, to you, they start poaching onto your animals. <laughs> but man, right. they need a password to go. Password to go to. Password. Oh my God! We're coming up with technology now. <laughs> Great Britain, uh, if the they government will okay. provide can they money, go, the, the government will provide money. No, yes, the Canada is, is getting bored. Canada is time and again.
again repeating and reminding me that can we move on to the next one enough of the hunting now all right so let us just uh, cast a file word i well that is nice man the file, national animal of uh, great britain how many say i i let me see okay majority I. of them go cool i next. perfect we move I. on to the next i country oh how about we take a 10 minutes break and we resume the meeting at 11 yes perfect with you go ahead take your break till then i will check out upon the Can other uh, have countries time? that haven't joined us okay okay thank you ma'am ma'am you can you um, can at 12 o'clock assembly um, yes yes Ma'am, you have to continue at twelve o'clock, no? I am going to be late. Really continue. I will come at eleven as well. I have taken the time from the from my observer. Ma'am, uh, so do we have to leave the no, meeting? We'll have three sessions today. We'll only have you and assembly. Don't worry. Yes, you are. Right. Right. You and assembly. Okay, we we'll leave Good the meeting right now. You and assembly. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, ma'am, I won't be joining back. Who won't be Sorry. joining back? Usman is saying he won't oh, join. Usman, right, right. Usman, thank you for coming and joining in. Uh, Usman is Boris uh, John. Boris is Boris Johnson. Oh, wonderful! I know Usman has his classes from Kolkata, but it's so nice to see him. Uh, Alfia, ma'am, you can just quickly take Usman's words and we go before we leave. Yes, yes, sure. So uh, right now. Yeah, right now you they can come back after. They can come eleven ten. It's your class all day long today. Ah, uh, we can all leave. Oh, no, no, no! We cannot eat during the assembly. Okay, ma'am. I can. Over your in, uh, for an informal Zoom class. This is a UN assembly. We need to maintain the decorum. Okay. Ma'am, I can. Um, can you? Um, should we take a break? Usman, and then he Usman. has to leave. Usman, yeah, Usman has Usman to leave. Okay, so we we can do this enough. Ma'am, I can come back at twelve. Come back at okay, twelve, Usman. Usman okay. can come back at twelve. Then no problem. We we we'll go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Alpha, ma'am, you end the meeting. We'll restart, so we'll have three parts of the meeting. Yes, yes. Sure. Also. I'll end the meeting right now. Everybody, okay. leave your place. Get up. Get something to eat and drink. Bye. 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 Bye.